Hi, Air Signs. Welcome to your weekly energy check-in for December 16th through the 22nd. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So this is a new weekly energy reading I'm doing for all the elements. So we're going to look at what's going on in love, life, and then advice for you for the coming week. So welcome, in for everyone. Welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. One more week, and then... Christmas will be over. Can you believe that? I can't believe it. So let's see what's going on with the air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Love, life, and advice. Love, life, and advice. December 22nd, uh, 16th through the 22nd. Spirit, please, thank you so much. So let's see what's going on with you air signs in love. December 16th through the 22nd. Or this can be whenever you see this, tell whenever. Uh, these could be the messages that just need to come forward now, but this could play out sometime in the future distant future for our future next year next month tomorrow could be any time just energies that want to come out now so let's see what we have here wedding the situation involves marriage so something about a marriage here let's see what's on the bottom healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and it doesn't necessarily have to mean your parents this could be healing a marriage something could be healing in a marriage or something needs healing in a marriage. So we're going to clarify all this energy that comes out for you uh, with the tarot. So let's see about life. What's going on in life for you? Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, December 16th through the 22nd. All right. What's going on in life for the air signs? For the air signs. Okay. I guess that's your card. Failure, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So, hmm. all right, let's see what else we have here. Change, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So, there may have been something here, whether it has to do with a relationship, a commitment, a marriage, or something. This could be something totally different. Whatever you tried, or whatever uh, you did here, I feel it didn't work. So now you're looking at other options uh, and changing something here. It could be anything. It could be a job. It could be relationships. It could be a creative idea, um, something in your lifestyle, something new that you tried, and you're like, okay, that didn't work. So now how can I change? What can I do um, to improve or to make it work? So we'll see how that plays out when we get into the tarot for you air sign so let's see what your advice is for the week ahead all the decks are listed below if you're interested in what decks i'm using uh, lots of information in the description box so you can check that out personal reading information social media i do readings on instagram uh, all air signs playlists are listed below so tons of stuff down there feel free to check it out if you do thank you so let's see air signs what's your advice for the coming week so we have Page of Michael, truthful, perceptive, analytical, blunt, an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed, review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So this is um, air energy and that's your energy. So this is about communication. It's about learning something new. It's about communication. It's about, like it said, reviewing documents, paperwork, um, contracts, anything like that. Very, very carefully with a fine tooth comb. Um, kind of energy so let's see and then we have leap of faith archangel metatron believe in yourself listen to your heart do what gives you joy so this is about if you're starting something new here <clears throat> whether it's a new job uh self-employment your own business um something where there's paperwork documents involved i think you really need to go through everything really really good or have somebody else look over it also or have very open communication conversations about this before you sign anything um, because that page of Michael there does say review thoroughly and this is about a leap of faith something new so whatever new thing you're starting make sure you know all the facts okay so let's see what's going on here let's clarify these energies for you air signs for 
December 16th through the 22nd. I do ask air, si air signs if you're new uh, and you like my energy and how I read, please do uh, check out my channel. If you like what you see, feel, uh, feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Love to read the comments. If you subscribe, thank you. If hit the bell, you won't miss out. A lot of different, I do a lot of different readings every month. So if you do, thank you. Thank you to everyone who supported the channel in whichever way you have. Thank you, thank you. So let's see what's going on with this healing family issues. My cards reversed. Nope, these came out reversed. So we have the Queen of Cups and we have the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is about stress, worry, fear, anxiety. Somebody is not stressed out anymore. But the Queen of Cups in reverse, uh, there could be no more love in this situation. Because the Queen of Cups in reverse, this, you know, that's all about love, feelings, emotions, uh, kind of energy, you know, nurturing, caring, giving, you know, somebody may have gone cold on somebody here. They're not like fighting. They're not nervous. They're not stressed out about a situation anymore. I don't know. Let's see what's going. Oh, I got a card on the top here. The devil. Okay. So it could be toxic energy here. Um, some sort of toxic energy that could be what's healing. It could be a marriage commitment. Somebody is just not stressed out about it. It's like they just don't care anymore. Whatever toxic energy was here, it's like, you know, they're not nurturing it anymore. It's like, no, no more, not, to you know, or there's just too much toxic energy here. Uh, but I feel like, you know, something needs to be healed here. So we got the four of pentacles. This is a very stable energy, though. Very stable energy. So let's see. Let's see why you going on the four swords so so i feel like even if this is something that could be breaking apart maybe it can still be healed maybe um if you're not necessarily coming back together maybe the energies can be healed um like peaceful resolutions you know peace harmony forgiveness Maybe it just need maybe the situation if there's a marriage or a breakup here something just needs forgiveness healing peace harmony um, because of the four of swords is about you know going solo here going off on your own you know healing contemplating thinking retreating the four of pentacles can also be an energy of like holding back from somebody and not giving to somebody either so but it also is a stable energy I feel like to stabilize the energies here. There may not be any more love in the situation. I'm just reading it how I see it. Somebody's not really stressed out about it anymore. It's like, you know, it is what it is. Whatever toxic energy is here, it's like, no, I'm done with that. Somebody probably just decided here to go retreat off on their own and uh, do what's best for them kind of energy. But I do feel like, you know, if this isn't going to come back together, there still needs to be like closure and like healing and forgiveness in the situation so that people can move on and not still have that cord of toxicity tying the two of you together in some way. Mm. Wow, air signs. Okay. So let's see what this failure and change is about for you. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, December 16th through the 22nd. Oh, you're getting a lot of reversals here. Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is action, communication, travel, but it's in reverse. So I feel like you stop doing what you're doing. Whatever you were doing here that wasn't working, you, you figured, okay, Eight of Wands in reverse. I need you to stop because this is not working. I have to make a change here. Because that Eight of Wands is all about very fiery, passionate action movement forward. But now in reverse, it's like, stop. So I feel like, okay... Whatever I was doing here, it wasn't working for me. It's not working. So I need to stop and make a change. So let's see what else here. The hangman. Yeah, taking a pause, taking a break, gaining new perspective, uh, gaining new knowledge. Queen of Pentacles to your stability, your abundance, your security. So yeah, knowing change, you know, to keep your stability, your uh, foundation, your structure strong, balanced, uh, you knew you had to stop, take a pause, take a break, and uh, gain a new perspective on the situation here before you lost all your stability. 
All right, so what else here? Is there anything else for this? And new changes needed. So whatever that means for you and however that means for you. So we have the five of wands and the fool. So yeah, very conflicted about this new beginning here. So whatever new beginning that you set forth on, something didn't work and you decided just to stop. And now you're very conflicted or there was a lot of competition about whatever direction you were going in. You said, I need to stop, take a break, pause, reflect, gain a new perspective on this whole situation, get a new idea. How can I improve? How can I change this before I lose all my stability here? So, I don't know. Let's see. <clears throat> see what else is going to happen here. So, you got the Seven of Swords. So, this is like feeling defeated. <laughs> you feel like the situation could be defeated, um, kind of energy. This is also the energy of like uh, sneaking away or um, deceitful, hurtful energy. So maybe there was something like deceitful that had happened in the situation. So you just decided just to stop. So does this just letting you know there that some sort of change needs to take place? So whatever change um, you're going to make, uh, I probably will be for the better. So I don't know. Let's get one more. Three one. So yeah, taking a pause, a break again. And waiting waiting before moving forward in this because you'll be divinely guided when it's the right time to move forward with the star energy there wishes and dreams coming true healing energy faith hope optimism so let's see what this and we got the leap of faith over here too so let's see what's going on over here so we have the nine of wands so it's telling you not to give up to keep fighting on with the nine nine of wands and then we have the six of cups so this is something divinely guided for you maybe that you've been wanting to do since childhood um it's been a dream and a wish since childhood but whatever you're leaping into here just get all your facts you know go through everything thoroughly have somebody uh, professional look things over for you open honest truthful communication five of swords yeah in reverse so that's a good energy so make sure um that nobody is betraying you or being dishonest with you and I don't think anybody is, but, um, but, you know, over here. So five of swords in reverse. Yeah, that's your energy. Um, you know, don't get in that energy also of like wanting to get ahead at all costs if you don't really care how you do it. Um, don't, don't get in that energy either. Or make sure nobody that you're associating with is in that energy either. So let's see what we have on the bottom of the deck. So we have the eight of swords. So this is, you know, mental entrapment stuck in your own head kind of energy but then you have the sun here so total enlightenment joy happiness success victory in every single way and again with the wishes and dreams coming true with the nine of cups fulfillment in every way moving forward in this divinely guided new beginning or for you with love compassion happiness kind of energy yep so i do see a lot of energy here uh air signs i hope that resonated for you and wishing you the best sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel to always, always shine your light.